doing? Welcome to another vlog and welcome to Luxor. I'm here with Islam. He has been an amazing tour guide. Uh, he is with me until tomorrow, right? Yes. Tomorrow is the last tomorrow day. Tomorrow is the last day. So, could you explain them where we are right now? Valley of the Kings, one of the most ancient places which have been erected inside the belly of the mountain itself. Uh, the valley have been prepared only for pharaohs, males actually. After the death of every pharaoh, they have to prepare for him a huge tomb. This tomb is actually very well prepared to be just only for a great pharaoh who ruled the Egyptian empire. And because of oh, that... Please. No, 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 it's okay. What is this? Oh. So it wasn't allowed to stop over there and film. But yes, we are here. So yeah, what were you explaining? So we were saying that uh, it was a place prepared for the pharaoh himself to bury him under the ground to keep him away of the grave robbers. And the tomb is very beautifully colorful down there just to be ready for taking the body mummified and starting the journey to the afterlife. In ancient Egypt, they believed that the heart would beat again and after the death of the great pharaoh, he's going to come back to life. Yeah. Tombs down there dates back to 3,500 years ago and they are totally prepared and very beautifully done, very colorful and all of them is prepared with sarcophagus just to take the body of the pharaoh. Later after that we'll see Hatshepsut Temple, the temple of the great queen who ruled Egypt for 52 years. Yeah, thank you. So basically, they used to keep every possession owned by the the king. Usually, gold. basically gold, silver, and all those things. And basically, uh, when this, when these tombs were discovered around 1805 and so on, uh, they started to be sold on the black market for a very high price to like European uh, people. And all the gold was taken from some of the tombs because there are so many of them and since last time Islam visited in 2010 there were 55 and till date today there are 64 and two of them which were recently discovered um, it's an amazing story if you guys ever come to Luxor and you're on a cruise search about please definitely Yes, and you can come to, uh, when you come to Luxor, you can visit this amazing, amazing place, you know. But, um, but there is an amazing twist to a story. There is a tomb only for a woman. So that is, uh, that is pretty crazy. Can you tell them why is that? Well, uh, the woman during that time, uh, she was the wife of a great pharaoh, Siti II. And the great pharaoh was actually sick. So the woman was taking the lead during that time. After the death of the pharaoh, she made for himself a tomb and she made for herself another tomb underneath just to be next to her husband. Mm. And because of that later, when other pharaoh came, he found that there was a woman who had done a tomb for herself in the place of the pharaohs. So that's why he enlarged the tomb just only to make his tomb under that tomb so nobody could put his body next to the time or next to the place of the farm. That's, that's so cool. That's really cool. So yes, now we are going to a temple. Hatshepsut temple. Which, what's it called? Hatshepsut. Hatshepsut temple. It's like hooded chicken soup. <laughs> okay, we are going to the chicken soup temple. <laughs> Hi Granny, you yeah. haven't been in the vlog today. Yeah. How is it? You forgot me. No. Are you enjoying? Yeah. I don't know why it's so dark. Yeah, I'm enjoying. But yes, are you enjoying? Yes. That's great. Islam, what's up? What's up? How are you? Good. We good. are in Hatshepsut Temple, huh? Yeah. We're going to climb for something like uh, 200, 300 meters, a little bit. Wow. Okay, so we are at the temple of Hatshepsut. So basically, and the king had married another woman in Syria. So the, the son, he was furious and he... The, I can't explain the whole story, but I'll explain what I know. So the tooth was found on the tomb and then uh, the, the son had uh, taken the body. the body and thrown it to the desert, but in a coffin. So in a recent year, in 2000 what? 2006. 2006, the body was found 
I mean, the bones were found, the hair and everything. Yes. And uh, later discovered that that mummified body belongs to Hajib Sud, the by queen. By her tooth. The yes, bones. by her tooth, yeah. Okay, right now we're standing in the thimble of the Queen Hatshepsut. The thimble that she made for herself to show herself look like a man, with a beard actually. Just to tell the people that she looked like a man and the people start to think about that she is the pharaoh of Egypt. And she was doing that because she had been actually betrayed by her husband who married another Syrian woman. That's why the the small son actually, Moses the third, he had been very furious and very angry and that's why he destroyed her timbals. Right now we are standing in where exactly the two timbals have been destroyed by him just to make her feel bad about what she was doing. You could see all the plaques over there on the left hand side, all of them just in the small pieces done by him because he felt that he had been an innocent person who had been betrayed by his mother, the stepmother. So you could see that every single piece over here of those pieces have been totally destroyed by Tutmosis III. But also he was not standing still. He actually started to erase all his, her carving and put his carving up into it. Just to tell the people that I delete her memory. Hi guys, how are you all doing? Welcome to another vlog. We've already uh, left the cruise. Today was the last day. Uh, today we are staying in Luxor and uh, Mr. Islam. Hello. Please explain them a bit more about this temple. So hi there. The, the temple right now we are standing is, is actually 3,200 years ago. The temple is a masterpiece built by a great pharaoh who have been to many places on the south, especially a place called Nubia to bring gold from there. This beautiful temple is built by this pharaoh, it takes 50 years to be built and this pharaoh was a, a husband for 42 wives and a father for 16 children, 116 children. So that's why we say that this great pharaoh ruled for 67 years, a very long time and his tomb is in the west area of Luxor, the place of dead or the valley of the kings. Yes. And his wife her tomb, her, her tomb is in the Valley of the Queens. Queens yes. Is that the one you're telling me about? Yes. The expensive one? Yes, the expensive one. Okay, so to enter that tomb, it's you have to pay like 2,000 Egyptian pounds. That's how much in dollars? Um, something like uh, $130. $130 per person. Everything is intact. So yes. all her materials like gold, jewelry, everything of hers is perfectly in shape and everything is perfectly kept. <laughs> Okay, so we are now at the railway station saying bye bye to Islam. Goodbye, guys. So Hope much. to see you. Uh -huh. Amazing tour guide. Bonus. Give him bonus. <laughs> Thank you, my friend. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Thank you, my friend. See you Take next care. time, huh? See ya. And uh, best wishes for your marriage. Thank you. Thank you, my friend. Take care. Have bye. A nice day. See you in the future. Inshallah. Bye. We'll be in touch, huh? Okay, so we have made it back to the hotel. We are at Mercure Hotel here in Luxor and we were just resting after arriving. Mm, we are going for the night show in Karnak Temple. There's Granny. The hotel is really beautiful. I'll show it. I couldn't show it to you guys today because we were having tours and when I came back it got a bit dark and then we were just resting.